Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today in the Franciscan calendar, we celebrate St. Leopold Mandich. Uh, he was born on this date, uh, May 12th, uh, 1866. And at the age of 16, he entered the uh, Capuchin Friars and was ordained a priest at age 24. However, um, he wasn't able to preach because his speech was slow and labored, almost uh, stuttering. stuttering. Um, his uh, health always posed a legitimate concern. Um, his spine was curved. He was pale um, and extremely fragile. He suffered from poor eyesight, uh, stomach ailments, and uh, crippling arthritis. Uh, despite all of this, he had a, uh, an enthusiastic uh, desire to return to his homeland and work for church unity among the Orthodox. Um, the Capuchin ministers judged uh, Father Leopold unfit uh, for that ministry and assigned him instead to the um, ministry of the confessional. Uh, nevertheless, everything uh, Father Leopold did was done for the unity of the church. And uh, he repeatedly prayed, uh, one flock, one shepherd, you know, just as we heard our Lord uh, mention in today's gospel. Um, for 34 years, he heard uh, confessions. He was always quick, uh, serene, and uh, affable, available for uh, any sacrifice, you know, for the good and, and service of others. And uh, wherever he was assigned over the years, uh, he was greatly admired and, and loved by the people. Uh, despite being uh, hidden in the darkness of the confessional, you know, he was known to everyone. And among his uh, Capuchin brothers, uh, Father Leopold was the object of uh, much misunderstanding and uh, a negative criticism. Uh, his ministry uh, often prevented him from uh, being present at uh, communal gatherings. Uh, some friars objected that uh, to his uh, kind uh, generosity, you know, to his penitence, uh, he transformed the confessional into uh, a personal encounter with uh, compassion, you know, respect and understanding. Uh, and every penitent experienced the mercy of God and the kindness of a priest. Uh, Father Leopold once remarked that, uh, you know, some say that I'm too good, but uh, if you come to kneel before me, isn't it this, isn't this sufficient um, proof that you want to have God's pardon? Um, God's mercy is beyond all expectation. And when uh, he was accused of leniency uh, in assigning penances, uh, Father Leopold uh, would respond, if, if the Lord wants to accuse me of showing too much leniency to sinners, I'll tell him that uh, it was he who gave me uh, this example. And uh, I haven't even died for the salvation of souls as he did. He often would remark, um, be at peace, you know, place everything on my shoulders and I'll take care of it. Uh, he once explained, you know, I give my penitents only small penances because uh, I do the rest myself. And he did. At nighttime, he would uh, 
spend hours of, of prayer explaining that I must do penance for my penitence. And uh, despite his uh, inbred uh, severity and, and capuchin austerity, uh, he had a, a, a tender heart and full of understanding and sensitivity. Uh, he was very vocal about um, social justice, you know, helping the, uh, the poor, uh, being instrumental in inspiring a teacher to found uh, little homes uh, for orphans where uh, they could experience a parent's love. Uh, perhaps his greatest uh, personal penance was living in a, an extremely uh, small room only about uh, six foot seven inches by uh, four foot three inches. Uh, and uh, it was referred to as an icebox in the winter and an oven in the summer. That's where he wanted to uh, spend his time in, in the privacy of his cell. Uh, and Father Leopold had a, a deep uh, devotion to Our Lady, you know, whom he called uh, my holy boss. Um, he celebrated daily mass at the, at the side altar of the Immaculate Conception, you know, recited the uh, little office of the Virgin Mary and prayed the rosary uh, often. He had a, a special love for expectant mothers and, and children and he would uh, visit the sick in the nursing homes and the private houses. And he'd often uh, visit the Capuchin infirmary and comfort the sick and the senior friars there. Uh, he'd remind the doctors, you know, that uh, God is both the physician and the medicine. Uh, and once he said of priest, a priest must die from uh, apostolic hard work. There's no other death worthy of a priest. Um, cancer of the esophagus led to Father Leopold's death on uh, July 30th, 1942. And he was vesting for liturgy uh, when he collapsed on the sacristy floor. And he was brought to his cell where he was anointed, and the friars, uh, gathered and began to pray the Salve Regina. And uh, with, uh, with him, uh, and when they, they got to the words, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, he died. And uh, St. Leopold's uh, cell and uh, confessional were spared during the, the bombing of World War II even though the, the church and part of the friary were demolished, uh, and Father Leopold had predicted this, uh, he said the, uh, the church and the friary will be hit by the bombs, uh, but not this little cell. Here God exercised so much mercy for people, it must remain as a monument to God's goodness. Um, Pope Paul VI beatified him on uh, May 2nd, 1976, and he was canonized by St. John Paul II on October 16th, 1983. And uh, during the, it was during the Synod of Bishops, uh, considering the theme of reconciliation. And uh, St. Leopold's recognized as the apostle of unity so today we are not only reminded to uh, always take advantage of that uh, sacrament of God's love and mercy, but also to pray for this unity that our Lord mentioned in today's gospel. One flock, one shepherd.